even the North Koreans know that the PSU is the heart of every rig. But it's no secret that most folks go for the cheapo variants in order to pump up the budget for the GPU, CPU, or even a RAM or storage upgrade. This, my friends, is something you should seek help for. Seriously, do it. Do it. You do need to understand the impact of the PSU on your rig. As always, this is not a paid promotion, and we're here to give you our honest opinion on the tech we test. Today we have a mighty fine PSU on our workbench, and I must tell you, this one is a zinger. Thermaltake's Dope Power GF2 ARGB offers a 10 year warranty, and this means it will outlive the rest of the hardware within your rig, like that grandma who always postpones her death by making new life milestones. Thermaltake's reputation as a quality manufacturer remains intact, and this time they're following the bandwagon and the current trends. Now, let's see if there's beauty within this fine looking box or a dead carcass. This here PSU sports 750 watts, and it's a modular power supply, which means the connectors come separately and are not integrated with the component. The whole set comes in a nifty package, and this handsome bag contains the following goods that I'm going to list for you now in a very boring manner. Cue the silence. There's a 24 pin connector which supplies the MOBO. Then there's two EPS 4 plus 4 connectors for the good old VRM section, and amazingly enough, they included four 6 plus 2 PCI connectors, which is more than enough for your $1,000 graphics card. You will also receive free cables with free SATA connectors and cable with four Molex connectors. And lastly, cue the drum roll, they've included the magnificent, amazing floppy adapter. If you like to touch things, like I do, you will find that this is a well-built, high-quality product with or without the glossy RGB effects. At the back of this beauty lies the 01 switch, but there's something special here as well, as I wouldn't have mentioned the beautiful switch just like that, you know? The little zero fan switch is also there, and you can discern the meaning from the name itself. The GF2 has two more switches on the other side, and they control the RGB effects and colors. Now, let's pop this one open and see what's inside. The addressable 140mm RGB fan adorns this babe. It's the TT1425, if you're wondering what sort of fan this is. It is the one they force into all their ARGB products. This line of Thermaltake's fans truly offers splendid performance, while the aesthetics of the fan are the best Thermaltake has to offer. If you're a tinkerer like some of us here at the studio, and like opening stuff up, you will see that the PSU faces on the side. They've truly outdone themselves, and overdid it in my opinion, as there's also an independent ARGB panel. The components inside are what you can expect, and it's no wonder this is a gold certified PSU. There are some high quality components within this beautiful PSU, and the distance between them allows for proper cooling. You may know that I'm not an RGB guy, I said it a few hundred times already, but you simply can't say no to such a sweet looking PSU. And now, some stats for nerds. The voltage graphs that we came across show that this is clearly a first rate PSU. No, we don't possess the expensive equipment needed to do an in-depth test, so let's just blindly believe the sources online. Though, I must say they are from credible websites. The tests show that the PSU actually can even perform above the 93 mark when the rig is running at 50% of its capacity, while it will stay firmly at 90% when the components are taken to the very limit. Hey, this is remarkable for a gold certified PSU. Time for a fun fact. In terms of voltage regulation, this PSU works properly on all the voltages except for minus 12 volts. This is completely irrelevant for 99.99999% of users, as you probably will not place this PSU on your 90s Pentium 1, and none of the modern PCs actually work on this particular voltage. The ripple voltage test also shows great results, as there were barely any fluctuations, and when they did happen, they were insignificantly small. The rest of the tests simply tell us what we already stated a few dozen times. This PSU shreds. Lastly, I want to take a brief glance at the fan, as the fan runs at a below average RPM of 500. But this simply means it won't make your ears bleed when it turns 10 and loses its warranty. When set to hybrid, the RPM linearly increases up to 40%, or around 250 RPM, and it remains on that very RPM until it reaches around 80%, when it starts going towards the previously mentioned 500. This is clearly a remarkable little PSU with terrific RGB effects, 
But as I previously mentioned, we're all a little miserly when we are building a new rig, and the PSU comes last as it's not really front and center. This bad mofo is expensive as a bottle of booze during the Great Depression, coming in at around 160 euros or 190 Freedom Eagles, and here, my dear viewers, is the main drawback of the GF2. For this amount of money, however beautiful Thermal Takes PSU may be, you will find a PSU which is way better in terms of performance, or you simply might want to purchase a cheaper PSU which is gold certified. If you're crazy about RGB effects, who's to stop you? Go all out and put your hard-earned cash into Thermal Takes pockets. That's the end of that. I hope you found this review informative and entertaining. If you did, don't be a party pooper and slap that subscribe button. Stay safe and peace out.